At the beginning of man's entry into space, it was uncertain how we would react to spaceflight. We also did not know if we could survive the weightlessness or even if we could work in space. The human body is a very complex piece of machinery which relies on several subsystems to perform its functions. The human body is affected to some degree by spaceflight. The most dramatic change occurs immediately after we become weightless. On Earth, gravity pulls our body fluids towards our feet, legs and abdomen. However, when we enter space, the fluid in our body is no longer pulled down towards our feet, but shifts up to our chest and head. And that changes the way we look. Our faces get puffy and our legs become skinny. After some time, the astronauts adapt somewhat to this fluid shift. However, their bodies remain in this altered state until they're back on Earth. It does not affect the everyday activities that an astronaut must achieve. One of the tasks of the space shuttle missions was to study the human heart and the way it functions in space. The human cardiovascular system works well in gravity. No matter whether we're standing or lying, we always have sufficient blood supply to the brain and other vital organs. But when we go into space and take our hearts out of their normal environment, some strange things happen. The upward shift of fluid in the body tricks the heart and its senses into believing that there's an increased blood supply. So the heart tries to compensate. First, the muscle structure of the heart compensates by stretching so that the heart can hold more blood. When this happens, other body systems tell the kidneys to eliminate what appears to be excess fluid. When the astronaut returns to Earth from space, gravity pulls much of the blood back to the legs. Now there's not enough blood to go round, and in some people, there is a feeling of lightheadedness until the body manufactures more blood. Before departing Earth, astronaut Drew Gaffney had a catheter inserted into his heart through a vein in his arm. During the first few hours of flight, when the fluid shifts occur, they were able to measure the central venous pressure near Drew's heart. The experiment showed that he experienced a much more rapid fall in central venous blood pressure than was predicted. For earthbound people, this experiment may help fight disease.